Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the DJI OM4 SE 3 axis gimbal. I'm going to be covering features such as the battery life, the build quality, um, the app, uh, and anything else really, so stick around. I really hope you enjoy this video, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button below. You can also catch me on Instagram, I'm also on Twitter. If you follow me on there, it would be it would really really help me out you can get some behind the scenes footage and anything else i'm really getting up to but yeah let's get into this review of the three axis gimbal from dji right so let's come up, cover some of the main features there's some features that i use regularly but then there's some which i very rarely use i think one of the first and in my opinion one of the best features um, that comes with this DJI is the magnetic quick latch that you get in the box. In the box you are supplied with the quick latch um, but as an optional extra you can get the magnetic ring that sits on the back of your phone. Uh, you can also use it as a little prop as well but I think it would have been nice if that was actually included in the box. The actual functionality of the magnetic clamp is pretty incredible. It's so easy to really clip onto your phone uh, and clasp and pop it on and off um, and it just snaps right into the correct position. I think it's a really awesome design from DJI. So another feature um, that, I, that I regularly use is the active tracking um, and on this um, DJI gimbal it's a 3.0 version. I have to say it does a fantastic job of tracking objects um, you know whilst I either tracking something that I'm videoing on my desk or tracking um, someone walking along or even animals as well, it does a pretty good job. I think sometimes though it does fly off the rails a little bit um, but it's very very easy to get it back on track. I think the last and final feature that I use uh, on this OM4 SE gimbal is the spin shot mode. This is via the uh, DJI app um, it creates a really cool transition um, and it's perfect for creating Instagram Reels, um, YouTube short videos, TikTok videos um, and yeah, it just generally creates some really, really cool footage. I think other features of this which I don't generally use all the time is the hyperlapse and time-lapse modes. I've created some really cool footage um, using the time-lapse mode. I'll just throw that up here now. <laughs> Overall, a gimbal like this, a 3-axis gimbal for under £100 or $120 is actually just incredible. Some of the features that you get with it are what you'd expect from a full, you know, six, £700 gimbal that you would get from DJI. And the fact that you can click onto your phone really easily, um, it's very lightweight, uh, really easy to use, has a stand with it as well which is really nice. Yeah, I think if you're a beginner and you're just getting into videography, this is definitely something that you want to you pick up. But yeah, that's what I think of the sort of features of this and how much I've used them over the sort of, uh, I guess, past, I think, eight months that I've had this device. Next, I want to talk about the uh, design and build of this, uh, of this gimbal. For a sub £100 or $120 three axis gimbal, it isn't bad at all. I've had this um, for about five months now, and it's fair to say that it has taken a huge amount of abuse that I've thrown at it. The gimbal is all, almost entirely manufactured in plastic. Uh, there's not much metal on this. Um, I think that's generally to keep the cost of it down uh, and the weight as well. Now, speaking of weight, I'm just gonna go over some of the overall specs of this gimbal. Uh, the gimbal itself has a mechanical uh, gimbal range of minus, in, in the pan, uh, minus 161.2 to 171.95. The roll is minus 136.7 to 198 degrees. The tilt is minus 106.54 to 235 degrees. Now, the maximum control speed is 120 degrees per second, and the dimensions folded are 276 by 119 by 103 mil. Now, unfolded, it's uh, 163 by 99.5 by 46 mil. Now, when it comes to the weight, it all depends on your mobile phone that you're obviously attaching to this. Uh, in most cases, I think the weight adds a little bit more control when using it. If it was super lightweight, 
it might get a bit sort of shaky. Um, but yeah, that being said, <coughs> with my iPhone 13 Pro Max, the total weight with the stand, the gimbal itself, and my phone is about 770 grams. I think personally that's heavy enough to be uh, controllable when doing your filming and it's not too heavy to be tiresome as well. So overall, I think the weight is, is spot on really. But yeah, all in all, I think the build quality is actually very, very good for the price point that it's coming in at. When I first unboxed it, it you know, it was just a really nice, well packaged, well thought out design. Um, I really like the rubberized part here. It feels very, very well built and, and very, you know, mechanically sound as well. So it does everything that I need it to and it's perfect to go in my hand luggage or fit in my bag or, you know, take to the beach or whatever. So yeah, it's just a great gimbal and I probably advise getting one if you're a beginner videographer um, or anyone that's looking to get into videography. Now, I mentioned earlier the uh, DJI Mimo app. Now, I think personally, if you really want to make the most of the DJI OM4 SC, you really need to download the app. This app allows you to fully operate the gimbal and all the features that I mentioned previously. Personally, I probably use it 85% of the time. Because my iPhone 13 Pro Max has cinematic mode, I do quite like to use that as well. Um, but, but I particularly use the app when I want to use the hyperlapse and the tracking modes because it's it's just spot on, it works really, really well. I don't think the app is clunky at all. It's very smooth, you can quickly uh, browse around it and generally it's, it's quite nicely designed and built app to get what you need and achieve what you want to try and do. The battery life on this OM4S gimbal has really impressed me. DJI on the website claim that it will last uh, around 15 hours under ideal conditions when it's fully balanced. Now I can say I fully vouch for this. I've not once been in a position where I need to plug it in or find myself that I need to charge the device. I think if you're, like I said before, an amateur photographer and you're filming it for a couple of hours, you know, whilst you're at the beach or a car show or something you just need to film, um, yeah, for a couple of hours it will easily, easily do that. Now I recently went on holiday and I filmed a few times. Um, I actually used it to watch movies as well, which was pretty nice. Um, it's actually a really good stand for a, for a phone if you're watching movies on the plane or I don't know, sitting by the pool. Um, but I only had to charge it twice uh, in seven days, which is absolutely remarkable, especially when I didn't actually have a, an adapter as well. I think the only downside is, is Kind of the charge time as well obviously where you get that big capacity you have to charge it up you can expect a charge time of two and a half hours with a 10 watt charger but you don't actually get a 10 watt charger in the box um, i've been using my laptop and it takes way more than two and a half hours i generally leave it overnight to charge i think maybe it's about four four hours i haven't timed it yet but i think it's about four hours but i think overall the battery life is very impressive and the fact that it lasts for days and days without having to charge it is really, really nice. So why buy the OM4 SE? Now, the price at the moment is about £85 or $100, which is absolutely ridiculous for a three-axis gimbal. You know, I'm thinking five years ago, you're never gonna get something for that cheap that, get, that can do everything that this can. I'm just gonna throw up a comparison between my DJI Ronin M with a Sony A7 III against this 4SC with a 13 Pro Max, and you can have a look at the differences. As you can see, the 4SE really holds its own. The value for money in this device, the device is absolutely awesome. If you're looking to get into videography or improve your Instagram reels, your TikTok videos, um, even Snapchat videos as well. For 85 quid, this is definitely something to look for. Now, DJI do offer the OM5, but personally, I feel like the extra battery life, the slight addition in weight as well, and the fact that it is, I think, about 40 pounds cheaper makes this 4SE the one to go for, in my opinion. So that's it for this video. I really hope you like this tech review on this DJI 4 OM SE. If you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. 
every single person that subscribes to my channel really helps me out. It goes such a long way. It means I can create more content, more videos, and more things for you to watch. So it's a win-win for everyone. You can also catch me over on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter as well. I don't tweet that often, but hey, I'm on there anyway. You can see some behind the scenes footage, uh, any pictures and videos and anything else I'm getting up to really. So yeah, head over there and you can see some extra bits. But yeah, that's it from me and I really hope you enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Catch you later.